Welcome back everyone, it's the Bourbon Judge. We are back at it with another version of Express Court. So for today's Express Court, we have Blue Run Kentucky Straight Emerald Rye Whiskey. All right, before we dive into Blue Run, uh, today's episode is actually sponsored by my good friends over at Zbiotics. So you got a couple of different options here, which I love. So think back, I've talked about Zbiotics in the past. Um, whenever I'm promoting something, it's something that I have to believe in. Uh, hence the reason why this is the only product that I've been promoting because it's the only one that has brought, been brought to me that I truly and genuinely believe in because I've used the product myself. So I know it definitely works. Um, but essentially Zbiotics is a pre-alcohol probiotic that's essentially genetically engineered and it's very simple you drink it uh you drink one little bottle right before you're about to consume alcohol so essentially the byproduct itself uh that's most responsible for uh, those rough mornings uh is essentially what zbiotics is breaking down the uh, PhD scientists, they created, uh, essentially, there's like an enzyme inside of Zbiotics, and the enzyme itself is what's uh, responsible for breaking down that byproduct. How does it work? Very simple. Uh, again, they have a couple different options here. This is the three pack option. This is the six pack option. So it works very simple. Take one bottle, shake it up, right before you're about to use alcohol, of course, or drink alcohol, shake it up, just drink it, oh, take the wrapper off there. Mm. Voila. <laughs> and then obviously you can go ahead and enjoy alcohol responsibly, of course. I will say that uh, for me, you know, I use this product a lot, not on an every single day basis. I typically use it when I'm doing, uh, I host a lot of different like, you know, whiskey events, friends will come over and so forth and we're testing out different whiskey and so forth. So if I know I'm going to be consuming a good bit of uh, whiskey in that night, I'll definitely use the Zbiotics and uh, it's always worked well for me. So if you're really interested in Zbiotics, very simple. Just go over directly to uh, zbiotics.com um, and then you'll get 15% off on your first order if you use my code, the bourbon judge at checkout, or you can go directly to zbiotics.com forward slash the bourbon judge and you'll get 15% off on your first order. Cool? All right. All right, friends, let's dive back into, we're gonna move Zbiotics right over here and we're gonna dive into Blue Run. Woo! Blue Run straight emerald rye whiskey all right so i've already poured this and i should say thank you by the way for blue run for sending the sample i always love the little uh the little butterfly that is pretty neat so this new release and i'm talking hot off the presses like in the last couple of weeks brand new uh it's being sourced and i guess like source and contract distilling from castle and key distillery it's a blend of three different high rye mash bills and the proof is coming in at exactly 116.7 proof Man, so I like the nose on this first and foremost. So the blend of the three different uh, mash bowls, they actually blended together 189 barrels. So a lot of barrels, a lot of time, a lot of effort went into this. And that I think is actually reflected by the price because the price of course is slightly on the upper end. It's like 110, $115, kind of depending on where you get it from. Now what I do like about Blue Run is the fact that very easy you can get it online you can go online directly to uh to seal box of course you can go to your stores as well but you can also go online to seal box and just order it and get it shipped to you if you are a fan of blue run all right so 110 115 dollars from the msrp again 116.7 proof i know a lot of you are thinking judge what is the age statement unfortunately we don't have an exact age statement so there's no exact age statement with this whiskey all right, this has been uh, open for a little bit. Let's go ahead and get into this nose and then we'll dive into it as a whole. All right, so traditional, you know, a rye nose as a whole, tons of mint, very floral, which is nice. I like the floral notes, tons of mint, a smidge of pepper, and definitely like some uh, golden, like almost like golden delicious apples with some honey in there as well. So golden delicious apples, a little bit of honey, very minty, very floral, very peppery. All right, we shall see. So real quick, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are your thoughts on just Blue Run in general? And last but not least, what are your thoughts on this new Emerald Rye, if you've tried it? And please make sure you also subscribe to the channel as well, my friends. All right. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. 
Ooh. Mm. That is a lot more minty and peppery than I got in the nose. I mean, the nose had mint pepper, but in the nose, I actually had a lot more like apples and honey and with the pepper. But in the uh, palate, that was number one, a very long and bold finish. Nice finish, I will say, but very bold as well and very vibrant. It's like a like a very vibrant rye. Let me get a little bit more. It's actually surprised me, to be honest with you. All right, let me get a little bit more. Mm. Mm. Ooh. That's nice. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> blue run, blue run. Time has come for the verdict, my friends. So I'm going to say a couple things. Number one, the palette and the finish was extremely bold and actually well-rounded as well. Question is, judge, if I see this for, you know, either in the store or online, am I grabbing it? Why? And so forth. The verdict is in. Folks, this is a no buy. Ooh, Judge, come on. What are you doing? All right. I'm going to be honest with you. I actually like this whiskey a lot. I'm giving this a do not buy, not because of the quality of the whiskey. I actually think the quality of the whiskey is actually really good. I just think it's slightly overpriced. It's a good rye whiskey. Don't get me wrong at all. It's great. I really like it as a whole. I don't like the price of $115. Um, the palette and the finish was definitely very bold, very well-rounded as a whole. Um, but for $115, I want something that is going to be like straight up fantastic, like amazing. Because if anything in $115 plus tax, that's closer to like almost $130 in actuality. So for something that's going to be in that $130 price range, once you include tax, that has to like truly straight up wow me like, Oh, and while I think this quality of this whiskey is really, really good, it's probably closer to like $75 to $85. If it was a $75 price tag or even $80, then I would say, yeah, all day long. That definitely deserves a buy at $75 to $80, bucks, just not at $115 plus tax in, in many states if you're finding it in a store up to $130. That's the key difference is the price, not the quality. All right, my friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, and most important, salute. Take care.